This week's weather won't be as sunny or as warm as it was for many at the weekend, but there will still be some warm sunshine. There will also be quite a few heavy showers around. The reason for that? Lurking behind me, an area of low pressure. This will dominate our weather throughout the working week, certainly bringing some pretty soggy conditions on Monday. It kind of meanders around, though. It doesn't whiz across the UK. It just sits to the southwest and eventually fills, by which means we mean it kind of weakens. Uh, the isobars become more spaced out and it just drifts down towards the Bay of Biscay. Nevertheless, it will be the main player in our weather through the next four or five days. And uh, certainly to begin this week, it's providing some pretty wet conditions. Slow moving weather front just drifting its way across parts of northern England, north Wales, into southern Scotland and Northern Ireland on Tuesday. So in this zone, it's going to be grey and the rain will be uh, on and off, but mostly on through the day. Parts of eastern England may not see too much. Northeast Scotland, again, doing OK for uh, bright and reasonably warm weather and it will be a much warmer day in Wales and southwest England. Some sunny spells coming through here but there will still be a sprinkling of showers but as I said much warmer compared to Monday where we had the persistent rain here. A cooler day though where that rain is lying over northern England, parts of the east as well and it's cool on the east coast of Scotland but some warmth uh, heading away from that breeze coming in from the sea. The low pressure's definitely still with us through Tuesday night and into Wednesday. And this weather front is still kind of around as well, just steadily fizzling out, but providing cloud and outbreaks of rain at times over still parts of eastern England. So quite a drab day on these eastern coasts. The Ha may well be returning to the east coast of Scotland as well, again, suppressing the temperatures here. But again, western Scotland may well do pretty uh, Pretty OK for sunshine during Wednesday, some blue skies here, and that's where we'll likely see the top temperatures. Further south, a little warmer where it's a bit brighter, but the cloud and rain never too far away from the East Midlands, East Anglia and the extreme southeast. A few scattered showers over Wales and southwest England, some sunny spells likely in Northern Ireland. By the time we get to Wednesday night and Thursday, the low is starting to trickle away, just drifting, meandering down towards the Bay of Biscay. Big question mark for Thursday, where does this old weather front lie? Likely to provide cloud and some outbreaks of rain over some central areas with a few showers and some brighter spells either side. Could even still be around somewhere during the course of Friday, by which time we're reverting to sunshine and showers across most parts of the country. Again, it could be a bit murky on some of these eastern coasts, mist and low cloud, and where we see showers developing, they could well be heavy, perhaps even thundery in some spots. But as is often the case with these late spring showers, they'll be slow moving. And if you get the sunshine, it'll feel pretty pleasant in the sunny spells, 20 degrees, 21, 22. And again, Western Scotland may well do pretty well for both sunshine and temperatures through this week. This graph is showing the temperatures on Friday compared to the average for May. Close to average across central and eastern parts, but above average where we see some sunshine say particularly Western Scott. And this is for Friday, but in fact, for most of the week, we're going to be above average in Western parts of Scotland. What happens at the weekends? Well, more uncertainty basically around this area of low pressure drifting up from France and the exact position of that. Likely to provide more showers, but the focus of exactly where they are uh, for that detail, well, stay tuned. Come back and join us later this week. We'll have more details about the weekend. But that's your forecast throughout this week for those updates over the next few days. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe.